yes people what's gonna welcome back to the channel guys so big news for the tank guys i've actually added another set of lights to the tank but i still have my original um radeon gen uh, gen 4 pros on here but i've added the hxo um for this kit as well so um at the moment um you know the, the radions were doing a really really good job however i did have some um some spots that weren't getting um enough light in the tank so since adding the um hxos to the tank um the whole sand bin have has been like you know receiving enough light and i think it's doing a really good job at illuminating the corals at the bottom here because this coral at the back there wasn't receiving light and now yep it's receiving a bit more light um and yeah the, in general the tank is doing really well so just to let you guys know with the um, hxos you literally get the strip yeah and all you can do is just direct it on there um i did have the these brackets um indoors here so i just literally just dug them out from where they were and just added the um the the, the reef brights on it now these have been out for a couple of a couple of years now and i just want to see yeah um do a little review are they still good for 2022 that's what i want to know yeah and if you know they are providing any benefits to the tank yeah, so um, before, um, a lot of the pop wasn't there in the system. It was just average, you know, looking uh, coral, average looking corals and that. You won't see that color coming out. Now that I added the um, the extra two strips of just um, blue and violet spectrums to the uh, tank, you can actually see the corals are starting to pop a bit more. Now, it's not anything that, you know, is just wow amazing because these are literally still frags, right? Apart from this uh, colony here. Um, but yeah, it is doing an amazing job in um getting all that light to the tank now you can't really see um what i'm talking about because of the camera and the filter now but if you look on the sand bin here you can see that everywhere there's like a bit of a shimmer and that's due to more light getting to the sand bed which means more corals or all the corals can get more light and start growing now a couple of additions that i had in the pico that i've replanted or re um, transplant whatever you want to call it into the uh the, my main display so i've had my pink goni here in the peak hole yeah i took that out put that in here and look how well um this thing is extending now look at the polyp extension on that and i think it was due to the peak not having enough flow for this coral so yeah this coral is much better um this one is a bit sad um, i just literally um fed the fish but i just stirred up the sand bed so it's a bit cleaner i don't think it really liked it that much um also i have more um, corals on the side here i have some more torch corals here that um, was in the pico and look how amazing extended the the uh the polyps are on this yeah it's going really really well and that one in the back as well yeah doing really well um this here and um, i just moved this as well so it's a bit sad so it's a bit um, closed up at the moment but yeah everything's doing pretty nice guys now the instructions or what i saw on youtube about the hxos that the original screw for the um rms bracket for the radion would just fit onto there yeah that doesn't work i had to literally go down to b and q to get um a longer screw that's i think it was an m5 screw to fit in there so that it can go through the uh, the bracket here and then the other bracket for the, the light itself so that everything can be suspended now um i'm a bit iffy about the whole look is a bit different it's not as neat as it used to be i like that you know one rms mount from the back uh light hanging on top but now it just seems it's a bit busy now i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments but the corals are really benefiting from it now because everywhere has light and i mean the whole tank is filled with light so yeah really happy with that okay guys as you can see i've got two mp10s on top and two nearers at the back so the two mp10s on either side i've gone from reef crest mode and i've now started using gyre mode i realized with the gyre mode that um the polyps are looking better um, and the way i've set the gyre mode is um every 45 seconds the uh mp10s come on it does its thing gives a, you know some water flow and then it chills out for 45 seconds and so on and so on and i'm getting more extension and the polyps are seeming to well, seem to to love it especially this one at the bottom here previously this thing would not um, show polyps since i've um, introduced that gyre mode yeah i can see a bit more polyp extension now the the nero freeze at the back there um i put that on uh 50 percent um with um 45 percent minimum on a medium kind of flow and it's because of these boys here i don't want the um <laughs> the polyps on here to get too much flow it's just the right amount uh, and it seems to be working because look how extended the two at the top part this one has just been really <laughs> sensitive and finicky because i just messed about the tank earlier but trust me this one when it's out it's out
Okay, so the next, or well, the two things I need to do next, I think is over the next couple of weeks. One, an ICP test. I want to see exactly what's happening with my water. I want to see what my, um, you know, my nutritious elements are, even my nutrients. I want to see where that sits, and then I need to start dosing what I or what is required. So these corals can start, you know, really, you know, getting what they need to start growing and coloring up again. Also, I need to um, either get or borrow purchase of a par meter of some sort of light meter to see how much par these corals are getting as well and if they're getting too little increase the par if they're getting too much decrease so i can start tuning in my lights yeah so that's that's what i'm doing now at the moment i'm still dosing 0.3 mil of ati um essentials pro and that's keeping my uh alkalinity around 8.1 and then my ph around um 8.3 8.4 um during peak times and it goes down to about 8.1 um, at night time which is which is okay yeah um probably next well probably look into doing as well as maybe get some some of clam to put in the corner here just to you know give a bit more pop and give a bit more diversity with the uh kind of you know corals and and creatures i've um i'm keeping in, in this a new design aquascape yeah all right guys so if you guys have any suggestions anything that you think i should be trying um you know let me know put it in the comments below guys and yeah, I'm really looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Alright guys, this is Nora for AT Aquatics Reefing. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe guys. I'll see you next time.